So I'm here in sunny Weymouth. It's towards the end of the day. Great pleasure to talk to Helena Scutt. Can you tell us a little bit about your sailing background and why you're in wonderful Weymouth? Yeah, sure. So I'm here for the Moth Worlds and my sailing background culminated in the 2016 Olympics in Rio in the 49er FX and I crewed and my skipper was Paris Henkin. And then I also sailed the foiling NACRA 17 for a while after that. And then I've been doing the moth for a few years and it's been super fun. Wow, what was your step to the moth? Did you do any sort of uh, wasp or other single-handed stuff or was it straight from the NACRA? Long time ago, lasers like learn to sail stuff, but it was basically straight from the NACRA, yeah. And I think having the first quad of the FX and then the first quad of the foiling NACRA 17, that was a lot of understanding equipment and you know developing the techniques and and all the settings and stuff and so i think that uh ties nicely into the moth and being a development class yeah i mean the design element is a really big thing what about um the the nacra and the fx they, they've had a few changes during the olympic cycle and they're still going i see the uh, the niners they now have black sails like you guys yeah yeah i haven't been part of all that development although i've i've heard about it and obviously it brings new opportunities and new things for people to master and then in the moth class, we have that, you know, it feels like every few months, you know, something new and to figure out like if it's going to be a good part of your kit and uh, and keep pushing forward. Yeah, it's fun. I know just walking around the boat park, it's like a, a who's who's who is a lot of people come from the Olympic circuit. It was Rob who uh, pointed me in your general direction, who I grew up with at, at Weirwood. And just to think, you know, this st stepping stones, what advice would you have to those young sailors thinking about the Olympic sailing? And what, what did you learn from that process? Yeah, so my Olympic sailing background was always double-handed in the FX and the NACRA. And so my main takeaway from those years of campaigning was that your job is to bring out the best in your partner. And you need to take care of yourself um, so that you can be your best self. But unless you're doing everything you can to bring out the best in your partner, then I, I don't think that you can really be successful. So um, that's my main lesson. And it applies to whether you're a new partnership or you've been sailing together for a long time. Uh, yeah. And, and what about the moth then? Because I, I guess you're now responsible for all the decision making, especially because um, you were you were crewing. Yeah, exactly. So I was always crewing. So now I have the tiller, um, which has been a fun, uh, you know, fun new dimension. And yeah, it's definitely different. Um, it is. It has been fun uh, just making my own decisions. And and you know, there's. Uh, I like to say in the moth class, there's nowhere to hide, right? Like there's definitely uh, no one to blame. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's all on you, and I think that's been fun, and it's it's forced me to shore up some of my weaknesses, and it's fun to develop those new skills. Cool. And I, I see you've got the American Magic top on. Can you tell us a little bit about that? We've already interviewed Michael. Yeah. So I'll be part of the uh, New York Yacht Club American Magic Women's America's Cup team, and also some exciting announcement coming soon <laughs> coming soon well you you can announce that on the uh, on the video in the comment section um when you're allowed to but what what's your sort of day-to-day -day like these days yeah so for the past four and a half years i've been a mechanical engineer in san francisco at a product development company and then sailing the moth every chance i get basically every single weekend and it's been a lot but it's been super fun and i wouldn't have it any other way we have a really great training group of moths on the west coast out in california wow. And so we've all pushed each other and I've learned a lot from the group and it's just been, it's just been really good fun. Well, you're obviously a very busy lady. Um, it does make you really keen to uh, keep the cover off whenever you get the opportunity, I guess. Um, but that design element, is, is it sort of a never ending return? It's obviously something you really enjoy. And it's interesting that before there were so many full-time sailors, there was a lot of engineers. Yeah, I think the engineering background definitely helps. It's not absolutely vital or anything, but I'm always wanting to understand why something is good or not. And I think that that is the most interesting part to me, at least. And I think it's also fun in the moth. At first, your technique is holding you back and then you realize it's your equipment and just kind of like leapfrogging between those two and figuring out and your technique evolves as you get new kit and stuff. So uh, I really think that's an interesting learning process and I always think keeps it fun. It's, it's Johnny and his hills. So you get to one performance for peak and then you, you suddenly realize there's another peak after that and another peak. And sometimes you have to do the, the go down. Now, I've got to ask you the most difficult question and nobody's answering me, but runners and riders for this week, you, you've been out for a few days. There must be somebody who's looking particularly quick. Um, 
It's hard to say. There are a lot of quick people. Um, I haven't seen him sail, but I've heard that Jack Weatherill's been really quick lately. Um, I haven't actually, he's not here right now, but he will be soon, I think. Um, so he only, he only lives on Portland, so he can't be that far away. <laughs> yeah, I think he's in Palma. Um, but that's the name that I keep hearing. But I think there's a lot of great contenders and it'll be a really cool week of racing. Brilliant. Well, thanks so much for your time and we will follow you with great interest. Thank you so much. Thank you. My pleasure.